Good morning YouTube. So I've got the cargo mat rolled up in the back of the Forerunner and I had just finished applying four coats of Herculiner to the rear wheel wells. So I removed the carpet that was in there. I don't know if that was a factory SR5 option to put the cargo mat and the carpet in. I had to get rid of the carpet because it got in the way of my battery tray that's going in there to hold the lithium iron phosphate battery in that opening there of the roll bar. While I had the uh, cargo mat up, the weather stripping I applied here did a really nice job making this more comfortable to move around and back. So if you put your knee in one of the valleys, it was perfectly fine, but if you happen to put your knee right on one of those ridges there, there was a bit of a surprise. So anyway, what I thought I would do is, is add a slight layer of padding over the top. Yeah, so I picked up a roll of eighth inch or three millimeter thick neoprene foam from Home Depot. They, they actually had a very good price on this. Okay, there you can see I've, I've rolled it out. And I mean, <laughs> it's like they made this just to fit the back of a Forerunner. I mean, it just fits from wheel well to wheel well. I tried it out. I rolled the uh, cargo mat down over the top and yeah, it just adds that little bit of cushioning. So if you put your knee on one of the ridges, it feels padded. It actually feels very much padded once you add the cargo mat over the top. So yeah, I think that is the right thickness. I debated between this and they also have a quarter inch or six millimeter thick foam. I think the quarter inch would just be too much padding because one of the issues I have is that I have two storage bins. There's going to be one on this side, one on the other side. They go up to about where the rear seat backs would be and they have a handle on one end and then two wheels on the other end. So I need to be able to roll those in and out. And so I was afraid if, if I put too much padding, it would be like trying to push those through a shag carpet or something. Okay, so they have rolled the cargo mat back out. Yeah, you can feel like right there is one of the ribs. You can see the shiny spot, so that that's where the ribs are. But before I put the weather stripping in, you had to try to keep your knees on the shiny spots because if you got into the valley, you got your knee kind of trapped in there. So you had like two pressure points. But if you kept your knee on the top of the ridge, it was actually more comfortable. After I added the weather stripping, it was more comfortable to stay in the middle here. But if you happen to put your knee on the shiny spots, then you were hitting the metal. And you know, this stuff here is probably two millimeters thick, but it's a solid rubber material versus so, the foam. Yeah, I just have a little bit of work to do up here. I need to fix this seat back. So I've replaced the seat backs with some plywood pieces. One on the driver's side, I've got to take that out and repair it. It's quarter inch plywood and then there's a slat, but the glue between the two broke. So I need to pull that out and fix it. So yeah, I've got a few things to do. So I'm going to be doing, I think, I think at least one more threaded insert down at the bottom of the door opening or hatch opening there. That way I anchor the plywood down at the bottom and then I've got the threaded insert over there. You can see I've got two threaded inserts on the top. There's one part way down there and I think I'll do one towards the bottom. That way I've got that opening pretty much secure. I've got to figure out all the things I need to do because I basically when I put the plywood in for the hopefully the last time I just want to put it in and be done with it I don't want to be moving it in and out a bunch of times so that's why I want to kind of finish it get all the threaded inserts in and then screw it in place once I just have to run some wiring in here for my power system so I'll be running the wire and tying it up to the factory wiring harness there and I've got to do the same thing on the other side. Get all my wires tied up and out of the way because right now it's real easy to do. It's open and you can just sit there. And But with all that work, I wanted to have the uh, 
padding in there because it's a lot more comfortable. Before I used to use this blue foam pad, but you'd have to move it around. Okay, I'm going to sit here. Oh, now I got to move it over there. You know, you'd have to keep moving it. Where now I should be able to just go anywhere in the back. It'll be a lot nicer doing all these finish details because for that you got to kind of be on your hands and knees and you got to get in just the right position to be able to reach in and and get to that point and that position might involve putting your knee on a uncomfortable spot so yeah anyway just thought i'd show you that really nice uh foam rubber so yeah i'll put a link to this in the video description and as always thanks for watching